our second day here and we are walking. My friends here are walking and we're gonna go. <laughs> So the cabs are right here, right out here, and um, time to get in and head to the Grand Palais again. Um, the, the taxis are refusing to take us to the Grand Palais or Palais because of the yellow jacket protesting. So now we have to figure out a way to get there and I have no idea how to take the train. I have no idea how to walk like... To, it's like a 30 minute walk and it's kind of misty and rainy out here um, I don't know this is just not the way that I wanted to start the day so now we're back in the room because apparently everything's blocked off because of the protests including the museum so there's no way for us to get there at all so I am like I'll be honest with you guys the reason why I came here is to see this exhibit and I had planned on seeing it two or three times and now today is like completely out so, um, I'm gonna hope that we can go to someplace else because it looks like sightseeing and all that stuff is out for today. Um, which I wish that there was something that was on the, the website or something like that that would have said, but I understand these things happen. Uh, so yeah, so anyway, I will let you guys know what we decide to do. You'll see that next. Um, don't want to waste this good outfit for nothing. So, hopefully we can figure something out. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys soon. Alright, so, now we're in the middle of our second day here, and we are walking. My friends here are walking, and we're gonna go, <laughs> Found it. Oh, we found it. Wow. Woo. Wow. Let me just take this in before I show you guys. like when you have Michael Jackson yeah. art. You guys know me that yeah. I take pictures in front of all the Michael Jackson art whenever I see it, so. Shout out to all the artists who are plastering Michael all over their cities and spreading this love. We need it now more than ever, okay? So let's get a close-up of this. Randall, how was your photo shoot? Man, that was fun. <laughs> I like this one. Let's see, all right, let's see. Okay? Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. I love how colorful this is. So here's some close-up for you guys. Check it out. It's almost like there's got some posters in the background almost here. All right. That was cool. It goes, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. So you guys, today I'm more prepared because I have an audio guide, so I kind of can explain to you some of more of what's going on, but check this out. I want to share this. This is how Michael was perceived that he was going to look in, I think, the year 2000 um, by Ebony Magazine. I believe it was Ebony Magazine, but check this out. This is interesting. So I'm going to introduce you guys to my favorite party exhibition. Well, not my favorite, but this is, this is good. This is real good. The references to the uh, songs on the escape.
Okay, you guys, so check this out. This is a sculpture made of styrofoam, polystyrene, that is a reinterpretation of those gold and white statues that were made of Michael and Bubbles by Jeff Koons. Um, unfortunately, that's not in the exhibition, but this one is. And it's part of a, part, a section of the exhibition called Splittings, um, where they do a lot of representation of Michael as a symmetrical split person or being. So let's take a look at the rest. Guys, so I'm not like the biggest person in art. Like I don't really understand. I have a hard time interpreting, which is why I got the audio guide today, but not all these pieces have uh, an explanation. And this one behind me is called Neverland. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, okay, Captain EO ship, um, maybe. Uh, if anybody has seen this before, <coughs> comment below. What do you guys think this is about? Let me know in the comments because there's no English explanation. <laughs> there's this piece of art that I'm really, really touched by because I shared with some of you guys on the channel before, but I'm a huge Mike Tyson fan. Like, very, very inspiring for me. And there's a piece of art that is representative of three mics. It's called which mic do you want to be like? And the artist's name is David Hammonds, and he's got these three microphones here that are representative one of each Michael, which is Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson, and Michael Jordan, which were three prominent African-American celebrity people, figures, whatever, at the time. Everyone kind of tried to inspire to be like either one of them. So the interesting part is the mics, each of them are so high that they're unattainable to reach. So their position's so high in a way that no one would be able to actually use them. And that's representative of Michael Jackson, Mike Tyson, and Michael Jordan. Now the question is, is which of these mics represents what? I'm gonna turn around and let you guys see. You can see there are three microphones here. Which one do you think is representative of which? So Randall's here behind me, so I'm going to ask him now. Randall, what do you think? Well, I think I believe your uh, traditional mic, um, the one that was on the right, is okay. representative of boxing, okay. like as if it was being lowered down from the ring. Mm -hmm. um, maybe the mic on the left is representative of basketball. Reminds me of radio, like listening to sports um, when you were only able to listen to it on the radio. Right. Uh, and then the middle mic, uh, Reminds me of a you know traditional mic stand, so something like a performer would use, like Michael Jackson. Right, right. Okay, I think that I I, I agree with that because the only one I recognize honestly is the uh, the boxing one because I remember. <laughs> Let's get ready to rumble. rumble. <laughs> so it's freezing cold and we just took a picture outside. How you guys feeling? It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Side. All right, so now we're going to the other side because we're gonna do what? What are we doing again, guys? We're gonna tip the Jackson. Oh yeah, our Jackson reenactment photo. Yeah. The Jackson five. So we basically gotta walk right underneath the Eiffel Tower. Oh. And then it's there. Okay. Yeah, it's umbrella time. Check it out. We gotta walk underneath there. Underneath yeah. there. Oh, the sun is out. Finally. <laughs> Honey. I have to say, I love your outfit today, yes. Work it, from the bottom to the top. Leather, leather, fur, yes. Work. <laughs> so, I've had a pretty good time in Paris so far. I, um, the thing that I love about the city, it's just the essence, it's, an older city. It's got like such a rich history and legacy and I'm from New York which is one of the biggest cities in the world and a place that I think a lot of people would love to travel to someday but I think what makes it so unique from a place like New York is that it's just so beautiful like the architecture is so beautiful there's no place like it and um, I don't know I've just been really touched just by being here and today is the first day that we actually get some sunshine uh, and that always lifts my mood. I don't know about you guys, but rain always kind of puts me in like a weird, like, funk where I'm like, ah, I don't really want to be out. But right now, I am excited because we're about to take this photo just like the Jacksons. My girlfriends are over there waiting. And, um, yeah, let's, let's take this photo. So Honey found the spot. I don't know how she did it, but Gadget called her the Michael Jackson Whisperer. <laughs> <laughs>
things we see in the airport. Before we leave France. Hey, Michael. So we're walking in the airport and it's so crazy because look what we just found. I literally feel like Michael Jackson's following us everywhere we go. It's so crazy. We're not gonna play Moonwalker, but we found it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised though. I think Michael's following us. What do you think? I seriously think he is. It's crazy. Like Moonwalker video game, that's not common. Like that's a big deal. Right? Should we play this? I don't even have any Euros left. I have Euros. I don't know though. I don't know if I'm interested enough. It's like 6.30 in the morning right now, know, you guys. Like, we just rolled out of our beds and was like, our flight! Yeah, so anyway, I think this might actually be the last um, part of this. So see you guys on the next trip. We're going elsewhere, right, Trish? But it's a secret. Yeah, so you got to stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to both of our channels and hit the notification bell because that way you'll figure out where we're going next because you're coming with us, right? Wait, maybe we should have them give a poll. Where should we go next? Where should we go? Let us know where you guys think we should go, MJ fam. Where do you guys want us to go? Yeah, yeah. All right, anyway, let's go get on this flight. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Everything is broke, you see. The